Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night raw review. I don't know what you think putting a show like that WWE, because that was one of the worst Raws I've ever fucking seen. I'm supposed to be excited for the road to WrestleMania, right? And fucking wrestling fans in general, just people who watch wrestling. Yesterday was supposed to be WrestleMania, by the way, but then it got changed. You know, but you know, usually you'll be excited for the road to WrestleMania. Literally, WrestleMania after this week is fucking next Saturday and Sunday, and we're supposed to be excited. This is the big, this is supposed to be the biggest show, and it, it, fuck all is happening. If anything, just a bunch of retarded bullshit. Literally, when you were breaking up the fucking Hurt Business, for some reason you're breaking up that team, you're doing gay nerdy bullshit on this show, you're doing matches that we're gonna fucking see in WrestleMania on a fucking Raw. I, 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 I don't know what to fucking tell you. You're making WrestleMania seem like a glorified fucking Raw, that's for damn sure. So yeah, fuck WrestleMania. Great, just... You know, it doesn't help that fucking Fastlane happened. You didn't focus on anything. You're ruining Russell. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not excited for anything. Grab your Coca-Colas, sodas, whatever the fuck. Anything you drink, drink it magnificently. Alright, motherfuckers. Oh shit, oh shit, dude. Get it? You know what I mean? Get Drink it up. Make the bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. Make sure she fucking not just drinks this, but drink her fucking load. So magnificently, you know what I mean? It's good stuff. <sighs> this show won't get you fucking bitches making you go, oh shit, oh shit. That's for damn sure. This show was abysmal. This was one of the worst rods I've ever fucking seen. I couldn't believe how terrible this show was. Fucking. You're breaking up the herd business. You're. Ms. Bunny. Fucking, what else? Matches that we saw on Raw, they're going to do at WrestleMania again. Rematch of Mania, basically. Nerdy gay whole shit about fucking games and shit like that. I don't fucking know what to tell you. Like, have, have we gone real retarded? So the show starts with fucking Bobby Lashley and the Hurt Business. Basically talking about how he issues uh, people to fucking attack Drew McIntyre and give them a title shot. Basically, it, they're ripping off the fucking uh, Triple H's storyline with Goldberg. But the reality is, it's like it seems like it like, should be the other way around. Bobby Lashley, who looks like fucking Goldberg, and he's afraid of fucking Drew McIntyre. And he has a fucking team. And they're breaking up. Are you? I don't know what to fucking tell you. Yeah, so Bobby Lashley stated that anyone who takes up Drew McIntyre will get a shot before WrestleMania. Lashley tells Shelton and Cedric that he doesn't want to associate himself with them and their failures. And, yeah, they said out they wouldn't be champion. He wouldn't be champion without them. And then fucking they basically break up. They attack each other. What are you doing? This is before WrestleMania. You know what I mean? This is WrestleMania time. I don't, you don't break, fucking back in the day, you don't break up Evolution before WrestleMania. What makes sense you're breaking up this fucking team? And again, why did they lose the tag titles? Apparently, there's this thing called this, the New Day Effect. Apparently, that's actually a fucking thing where people are nicknaming that. That's actually fucking funny. Uh, fucking, apparently, fucking, whenever the New Day beats a certain team... They break up. I don't know what the... I don't know. Like, and he, seriously. The New Day are still a team. But fucking... Teams like the Hurt Biz... Like, don't get me wrong. I don't give a, didn't give a shit about Solomon Benjamin and Cedric Alexander before this. But the Hurt Business helped me them fucking legit. Made you care about them. Now they're fucking fuck all. So thank you, WWE. You made me fucking not give a shit about the Hurt Business. And lastly, yeah, like... I don't know what to tell you. And then fucking after that, fucking Shelton Benjamin uh, challenges Lashley for tonight, and Cedric Alexander challenges Lashley for next week. Um, but he they asked if the man this match with Adam Pierce, who's like a pushover GM for God's sakes. 
Then Riddle fucking acts like a fucking retard. Literally, Riddle was acting like a retard, like fucking a scooter. like, yo, man, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh yo, d you're gonna go on the hall, of, you're gonna roast the hall fan, you gotta roast the sucky pig, man. Or, you know, I went with the mac and cheese, I like mac and cheese, I like the shrimp, but like, here's the thing. I wouldn't, <sighs> this guy acts like fucking He's a retard, basically. I wouldn't have a problem with this if this was a comedy gimmick. But we're supposed to believe this is a guy who should take it seriously. And this is the same guy who said he's better than fucking Goldberg. This guy fucking wrestles with no socks and shoes. This guy acts like a fucking tart in television. Says he's better than Goldberg. Trash talks all the wrestlers. And for God's sake, he has a man-looking wife. Okay, yeah, we're supposed to believe this guy is fucking badass. And he rides a fucking scooter. Don't tell me that this is probably Vince McMahon's fault, because I bet you the guy's a retard to do that. And then Sheamus pushes him, and then Sheamus defeats him in the fucking first match. I really don't care. And this is happening again at WrestleMania, for God's sakes, for the U.S. title this time. Shut up, bitch! Sheamus Man shows Braun Strowman's report card from the fifth grade, which Braun Strowman was apparently his name. And, yeah, the teacher's comments, and then, yeah, we're basically doing this whole BS Star storyline. Yeah, okay. Shane says he will defeat Braun at WrestleMania. Braun Strowman defeats fucking Elias' fucking manager, was it, Gunner from TNA. After the match, Braun Strowman tells Shane McMahon he gets to choose a stipulation so he can run never hide, and he chooses a steel cage. A style is steel cage. Yeah, great. A boring... Uh, listen... When you, uh, bore, steel cage matches are fucking boring. I'm sorry. They're, they are. I mean, if they're done right, like, if you actually use the cage and there's blood in it, but the fact is, they're, like, that hasn't been the cage, like, what cages used to be. And for God's sake, let's be honest here. People want, like, have a, f I mean, sure, sh people want to see Shane Man jump off something. Like, sure, you could always jump off the cage and shit like that, but let's be honest here. When you think of fucking Shane McMahon and fucking WrestleMania matches, we want to see weapons and shit like that. We want to see hardcore action. Fucking a cage match is literally just a ring with a cage. It's fucking boring. People want to see fucking either Shane McMahon jumping off a fucking stage, people jumping or jumping off something through the table with some weapons, okay? I was kind of hoping a Hell in a Cell, even though I, I know they won't ever do a Hell in a Cell, and it's kind of retarded, why would they do a Hell in a Cell match in this storyline? But let's be honest here, a Hell in a Cell match would be fucking exciting than this shit idea, okay? It is what it is. It's a steel cage match, I get it, you know. It, you know, Shane can never run away, but come on, people. Unless, you know, they can incorporate a way to get weapons and shit, like, react, react, come on, let's be honest here. A steel cage match... It is what it is. Okay, I get it, you know. But come on. Like, it is what it is. <sighs> Fucking A. I mean, it is a pretty rare match they're doing a cage match. It hasn't been... It's been like... They only did like one cage match at WrestleMania. So I would give it that. That's interesting. But for God's sakes, like, come on, real steel cage. And for God's sakes, like, why should I give a fuck about Strowman? You know what I mean? The guy's a goofball anyways. And you're making him seem like he's a fucking retard. And he's supposed to be the monster among men. So why should I care? Then Miz and Morrison showcased their new music video against Bad Bunny called Hey Hey Hop Hop. And it's literally the Miz as fucking the bunny. So it's Miz Bunny. This is no different than Miz Bear. Great. It's... F I guess it's supposed to be a joke, but who cares? It's like, fuck off. You know what I mean? This is a former WWE champion, by the way, now. A two-time WWE champion. And he's feeling with fucking, a fucking queer rapper and shit like that. And honestly, I like The Miz more than fucking Bad Bunny. I know, I, and I get it. Like, people are going to give a shit, but who cares? I don't know. I don't care. I really don't. Then the fucking queer bunny punches The Miz. Okay. whoop de do. People think that, oh, this is good for WWE, but reality is no one's gonna fucking watch. Maybe on YouTube, but no one's gonna fucking watch this show for Bad Bunny, okay? Bobby Lashley defeats Sultan Benjamin. Okay, don't care. This was one of the worst segments I have ever fucking seen. So it's the New Day. 
For some reason, they challenged AJ Styles and Almas to a video game match or something. Or some video game. Or some game in general. It was not a video game when in later in the segment. But he challenged them to a fucking game. This is professional wrestling. We're supposed to believe badass baby faces. You know, cool heels. People hate each other. Fucking beating up each other. Fucking their hate. They hate each other. Seriously. You know, not playing video games. This is no wonder Undertaker says these motherfuckers are just a game, bunch of game nerds that play video games for fuck's sakes. What the fuck are you doing? You have the audacity to not listen to Undertaker and you're still doing this whole game shit. What are you doing? This is WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania. You're doing WrestleMania tonight. It's on its way and you're fucking doing video games. You're doing fuck all! What the fuck are you doing? WrestleMania is coming and you're not doing fuck all! You're making people you wonder why people don't watch anymore! Ah! What are you doing? Stop with this gay shit! Bunch of fucking retarded ner This is literally retarded nerdy bullshit! And you know what's fucking sad? The fucking gay nerds who watches this show, these smarts probably liked it! They probably think this is good. They rather, they want this. To, they think this is fucking, I don't know. They probably think this is fucking good. So, ugh. You wonder why fucking cool people don't watch wrestling anymore. It's just a bunch of gay looking nerds. Holy shit. I believe what fucking righty and lefty Sparkbusters dudes are fucking saying. It's like fucking literally. It's like fucking these smarky fans. They they like that it's just themselves watching instead of the fucking bullies and shit like that. You know what bullies rule for fuck's sakes? Holy hell. Oh, don't be a bully. Be a star. No, fucking be a bully and be a badass, motherfucker. Fucking the New Day defeat AJ Styles and Amos in a game night. Yeah, it's game night. Are you fucking kidding me? That was the worst segment. I've ever fucking seen. Like, was it a was I was I was I watching a kids show for fuck's sakes? Was I watching fucking? You literally did something equivalent to slime time live with slime. I thought fucking you know they stopped appealing to kids like they fucking became you know just a nerdy like you're still doing kids shit but it's just like it's nerdy shit. If anything, nerds would like this. Only like fucking gay retarded nerds. Holy fuck, I don't know what to say. That's like, that was the worst segment. And Ro WrestleMania's coming. You're doing it for two nights. And fucking fuck all is happening. So that happened. I don't know even remember what fucking happened. I don't fucking care. I don't want to remember. Because that was fucking horse shit. That was like the worst segment I have ever seen. It's fucking professional wrestling. It's Monday Night Raw. And it's just, what the fuck? Xavier Woods defeats Styles because of disqualification of Rollins. I don't fucking care. It's official fucking night two. Riddle versus Sheamus. A rematch that we saw on Raw. Great. Alexa Bliss with her stupid Harley Quinn pedal shit. Again, I don't get why people think this is good. I don't get why people fucking are... Why? Like, uh, Alexa Bliss... Fuck all, like, you, you, sh you sh whatever happened to women looking hot and shit like that, now we just get pedal looking bitches and fucking She-Hulk disgusting dykes and shit like that, what are you doing? Uh, she says Orton thought that she destroyed the Fiend at TLC, but then she bond back with the box and then says the Legend Killer will die, and then Orton says, uh, you know, no way it's compared to The Fiend, like, or, like fucking, uh, Undertaker, The Rock, Stone Cold, or, like, okay, basically, people face that off. Like, he faced Shawn Michaels, fucking, Taker, Cena, shit like that, but apparently they're not compared to The Fiend. Okay, whoop de doo who cares? Naomi defeats Shayla Baszler after Reginald, Lana, Manny Rose, and Daniel Brooke got involved, no one cares. And then fucking Asuka and Rhea Ripley had a stupid contract signing. I didn't give a fuck. It just, it was an insult to my intelligence. Just Oscar being a retarded fucking Asian. And then fucking literally Rhea Ripley just being like a man. I, I, I'm, I'm overconfident. 
I'm gonna be winning a WrestleMania. That's literally how she sounds like. She sounds like a fucking man. And then fucking Nia Jax and fucking the Dyke bitch fucking come came out and challenges them to a match next week. Wow, the the Raw before WrestleMania, and we're gonna get a stupid fucking disgusting training off. Okay, what we fucking do? Like I give a fuck. Uh, McIntyre goes in the locker room, beats up some jobbers, which I guess was a bit amusing, but then he fucking, he does a beat up Ricochet, the guy who fingers his own ass, and they have a match, for God's sake, so who, why, what are you doing? Then McIntyre defeats Ricochet, and then Mustafa, uh, uh, White Hate I Ali, um, yeah, I don't know, he's a representative of the SJWs, he basically attacks McIntyre and challenges him or something, but then fucking McIntyre beats him. I don't really care. It's like there's... Is there any direction going on? You're just basically doing all these stupid matches because it's just like you have fuck all... To, you have no direction. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then after he, after McIntyre defeats him, he calls out Lashley. I guess... So they mentioned what happened in Elimination Chamber, which I guess is something, you know, again, that's what's originally the story supposed to be. You know, Lashley, he attacked McIntyre. He cost him the fucking title match, you know? McIntyre's angry, he wants to get revenge and shit like that. It's not that hard, I guess it's fine. But then and then they brawled for a little bit, it's okay, but like really, like can they like to be like a badass brawl brawling around places maybe, you know? But then literally, um, because they you know there's still time, and it's like, well, oh, is there someone gonna be oh fucking awesome? Someone like including to Batista coming out? Because they're basically ripping off the Evolution uh, Goldberg storyline. That oh, who's gonna fucking attack McIntyre or make sure he doesn't make it to WrestleMania or something, right? And no, it's fucking Baron Corbin. Yeah, that skinny fat fuck. Great. Yeah, it's fucking King Corbin. Yeah, he's equivalent cool to Batista. Yeah, he's a badass. Yeah, that's that's who I want to see fucking beat up McIntyre. That's badass, apparently. That's so cool. That's apparently he's part of the Hurt Business now or something. And then all you got, all you see is fucking Bobby Lashley doing the stupid fucking Master Lock or the Hurt Lock three times. Like, can you do anything more interesting? Like, I, I. And since when he's doing the Hurt Lock, I get, I get that's how he won the title, but when it was established that that's his, like, new finisher, what happened to the Spear or something, you know what I mean? Or the Dominator. I mean, whatever, but, like, he just did that three times, like, not interesting. And that's how you end Raw. And Larry Baron Corb is involved in this storyline. Yeah, like, I'm excited for King Corbin, for God's sakes. Baron Corbin, Really? Really? This is WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania season. I, I never thought that WrestleMania would get so fucking bad. Like literally, I remember at least back in 2015, you got you had more interesting shit going on. Like even though it was done terribly, you had Sting. Like I remember, like it was like two weeks before WrestleMania, Sting came coming out wrestling fucking Orton against the fucking Authority, and that's like more in, in, exciting. And that's where, like, around the time that people were saying Raw was bad. What if, how did, how did it get so fucking bad that you're making Raws from years ago look better? And you know what's fucking sad? WrestleMania's gonna keep getting worse, or fucking just wrestling keep getting worse to the point that we're gonna probably think this is better than what's gonna happen in a few years. Because isn't that sad? That's how wrestling is. It, like, it gets worse every fucking year. This world of WrestleMania has gotten worse every fucking year. I don't fucking get it. God, this show is terrible. The wor one of the worst shows I've ever fucking seen. I, I I still can't believe they did that game shit. And fucking just... God damn, that show is terrible. You're breaking up the Hurt Business, for God's sakes. I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah, fuck, fuck Raw. Like, seriously, fuck, fuck this show. Fuck WrestleMania this year. You ruined my enjoyment for Edge versus Reigns. Remember when I was excited when Edge won the Rumble? You know what I mean? And then for God's sakes, they ruined that enjoyment. Now adding Brian to the match. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Fuck this company. And yeah, fuck this show. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I don't want to waste time. Just Raw was the, one of the worst Raws I've ever fucking seen. I, I want, I, I, I cringe so fucking bad. It was terrible. It would, it, it was like, 
it made me want to stop watching. I, I almost like, I don't know why I paid attention. Because like, it's like fucking spring break and shit like that, right? And I actually had some energy to try to watch Raw. This killed my energy. So anyways, fuck Raw. I'm tired. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Drink your cold so my gifts and me. Get your fucking gains and shit like that. Fuck Raw. I don't know what to say. You ain't go, you ain't go bitch like that. How the fuck are you gonna make them go shit with this fucking raw? It's fucking terrible. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Fuck this company. And yeah, RVD's going to Hall of Fame. Cool, but for God's sakes, uh, that's it. All right, that's it. Actually, I will say this: the only thing I found interest uh, entertaining was a kid acting like Hulk Hogan. I remember it was like a Hulk Hogan impression. At least he won't go up to be like a woke motherfucker saying Hogan's racist. But since when that since when is that better than a fucking wrestling show? I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Till next time, peace. Yeah, bye.